This question is asking us to find the time the train took to come to a complete stop after it started from rest and it also wants us to draw the velocity time graph and the displacement time graph. Let's write down the equations of each segment, between 0 and 30 seconds and then 30 seconds and t prime. The equations are given to us so that makes this just a tad bit easier. Now we need to find the velocity and to get the velocity from an acceleration equation, we need to remember that acceleration is equal to the derivative of velocity with respect to time. We can also write it as dv is equal to a dt. Now it's just a matter of taking the integral to figure out the velocity. The train starts from rest at a time of zero, so those will be our lower bounds of integration. When we solve our integral, we get v equals 0.05t squared. Now we need to figure out the velocity at 30 seconds. Let's substitute 30 seconds into our equation and we get 45 meters per second. So that basically says that the train is moving at a speed of 45 meters per second at 30 seconds. We can use this value for the next integral. That will be our lower bound. Remember that our time is now at 30 seconds as well. Solving this integral gives us our velocity equation for the second segment. We now need to figure out when the train stops since that's one of the requirements of this question. That's actually easy enough. Let's see at what value of time our velocity is equal to zero. Substituting and solving gives us two values. But we know that the time value must be greater than 75 seconds because at 75 seconds is when we see that our acceleration becomes zero. So up to this point, the train kept going faster and faster. So only 133 seconds makes sense, which is our answer, which means at 133 seconds, our train comes to a complete stop. The graph looks like this. Now we can focus on figuring out the displacement of the train. To get the displacement from a velocity equation, we need to remember that velocity is equal to ds over dt. As before, we need to take integrals using our velocity equations to get the displacement. Our lower bounds of integration start at a velocity of 0 meters per second and a time of 0 seconds. Solving our integration gives us our displacement equation for the first segment. Now we need to calculate the displacement at 30 seconds which when solved is 450 meters. We will use this for the next integral as our lower bound. Remember that our displacement starts at 450 meters and our time starts at 30 seconds. So our train moved 450 meters in 30 seconds. Solving this integral gives us our displacement equation for the next segment. Let's figure out the distance the train traveled before it came to a stop. Substituting 133 seconds into our equation gives us 8,857 meters. We will use this when we draw the graph. The graph looks like this. If you have any questions or you have suggestions on how to make these videos even more helpful, please let us know. And if this video helped you, please give us a like. Thanks for watching.